Hi and welcome to a new video. Does your iPhone speed or performance seem a bit slower than usual? Fortunately, there are some methods that you can do to optimize your iPhone speed. In this video, I will introduce various tips on how you can keep your iPhone from getting slow. Let's go! Usually, the most common cause of slow iPhone performance is overheating. Therefore, you should first perform a physical checkup of your iPhone and see if it is hot before making any changes on your configurations. Since iPhone is designed with intelligent thermal control, it instantly reduces screen brightness and slows down its processor to make it cool down faster. As a result, your iPhone may seem noticeably slower. If you want to know some other ways on how to cool down your device even faster, you can check out my video in the tag at the top right corner or check the link in the description below. The next thing you can do to improve the efficiency of your iPhone is to declutter your home screen and get rid of unnecessary widgets if possible. Although it is convenient to have quick access to your iPhone's apps or features, having too much clutter might negatively affect how well your phone performs, particularly if some of those widgets update in real time. Those background running widgets utilize your iPhone's processor and may cause some lagging. So, if they're not that necessary, I suggest that you remove them from your home screen to optimize your iPhone's performance. Your iPhone's battery health contributes to your device's overall performance. Thus, it is a good practice to periodically check the condition of your iPhone's battery. To check, open Settings, then navigate to Battery and choose Battery Health. Here, you can see the percentage of your battery's current maximum capacity. You can also see all of your iPhone's apps along with their respective battery consumption percentage. If necessary, you can decide which apps can be uninstalled so that you can help optimize your iPhone's battery. Another factor that might have caused your iPhone to slow down is if low power mode is enabled. Low power mode is an iOS feature that extends battery life by reducing the amount of power your device utilizes. When enabled, some features are disabled which in effect causes some background processes to take longer to complete. As a result, you may experience a noticeable lagging or reduced device performance. Since your iPhone is generally composed of various pre-installed and third-party apps, their usage frequency can have an impact on the efficiency of your device's performance. So, to lessen its unlikely impact on the device, I will suggest some simple but helpful tips for managing your apps. First, close all apps you have recently opened if you will not be using them for the meantime. This way, the apps will be prevented from running in the background. But you can also directly configure it in the settings to prevent any apps from running in the background. To do this, go to Settings, then General, and select Background App Refresh. Choose one or more apps that you want to stop from running in the background. Additionally, an app that continuously pushes alerts and notifications may also slow down your iPhone. So, if you don't really need frequent notification from a certain app or the alerts seem irrelevant, you can disable this feature. Go back to Settings, Main Menu, and select Notifications. Then, choose an app from the list and toggle off Allow Notifications to stop receiving alerts from the selected app. Next, keep your apps up to date. If an app keeps crashing or malfunctioning, not only can it be an inconvenience, but it can affect your iPhone's performance as well. Bugs or any errors may be causing the malfunction, so the best way to resolve this is to update your app. Check for updates, open the App Store and tap on your profile. Check each of your installed apps and see if there are any updates available. However, if the app still crashes even after updating, I suggest that you delete it for the meantime and then reinstall it. You can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the Volume Up and Volume Down buttons respectively. Then, press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. 
If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. If your iPhone has enough storage and your app settings are optimized but your device still keeps getting slow, this may be due to software bugs that Apple developers may have already fixed. So, to acquire their bug fixes, you must update your iOS to the most recent version. To update to the latest iOS version, go to Settings, select General, and tap on Software Update. Download and install the update if it is available. Unfortunately, if none of the methods I have mentioned weren't able to optimize your iPhone's performance, your last resort will be to reset your device's settings and restore it to factory defaults. Of course, make sure to back up everything first in order to avoid any unnecessary loss of data. To properly reset your iPhone, I have another video explaining how to do this. You can click on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below to watch it. And that's it. If I can help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.